What's going on, guys? I'm Jado Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Dwight Howard. Uh, Dwight Howard is in the news. He has been for the last couple of days. I think this story kind of went under the radar. Apparently, Dwight Howard's baby mother, Royce, has decided to peek her head out and try to get some attention by putting him on blast for being a bad parent. She's done this before, even though uh, her son was accused of doing something horrible under her watch. She now decides that she wants to critique him because there was a video that went viral of Dwight having a workout session with his nine-year-old son. And there was some people that thought that he was pushing his son too hard in the workout, you know? And he didn't feel like, Dwight didn't feel like he was. He felt like he was trying to teach his young son to work hard, right? Something, you know, you, you would expect and say whatever you want about Dwight. I'm going to make that very clear. Say whatever you want about Dwight. Father, him being involved in his son's life is a good thing, a positive thing. But because Royce, to me, is the worst parent because, you know, she is the mother of a son that was accused of doing something horrible to her husband's son or to her. I don't, I don't know if they was married, but to the guy that she was dating son. You know, I, I believe I made a video on that. I mean, y'all could go and look up the story. Royce Reed is not the person that should be putting anybody on blast. Royce Reed should keep her mouth shut and worry about why her son is the way he is. She needs to focus on trying to get her son help instead of focus. Now, again, this is the son she shares with Dwight. So Dwight should be in her son's life. But we're talking about the same son that spoke out against Dwight Howard. So we have a, a young, manipulative young man who's being raised by Royce, right? Who spoke out against Dwight. And I made a video on that. These, this is the dynamics that we have here. And now Royce is trying to publicly shame him because he goes around. Because y'all understand, Dwight hasn't been in the NBA uh, recently. He was over playing in Taiwan. Uh, they, there are people that would like to see Dwight return. Uh, to the NBA because he had he's had a pretty good time in uh, Taiwan as you can see here from this article Kendrick Perkins uh, is endorsing him to join rejoin the Lakers again right because he's been putting up big numbers in Taiwan because but again that's Taiwan but let's get back to Royce you know Royce is not a good mother uh, she needs to focus on being one instead of trying to get on the internet and try to make Dwight Howard look bad. And these women do this instead of focusing on why you have primary custody and focus on you being the best mother you can be. You want to critique him because he's around his other son. Maybe if your son wouldn't have publicly spoke out, spoken out against him, and there wasn't this rift that Dwight maybe can't get past in order to reach his son, maybe he wouldn't be trying to make up with his other son. 50 Cent does this as well. 50 Cent moved on from his oldest son and is now being more and more involved with his other son that he doesn't have this crazy, you know, relationship with as far as the dynamics. You know, you know, 50 Cent's baby mother actually allows him to be a father to a child. He's not just a child support check. A lot of you heifers think that these men are child support checks. And you think that you're just supposed to just milk these men and not allow them to be fathers to their children. Then when your children grow up fatherless, you want to blame the man and say, well, you gave them every opportunity to be a good father. No, y'all don't. Y'all are selfish and grimy and you're liars. Okay. Now let's get into what Royce Reed had to say. I'm going to go here first and let's take a look at this video. I'm telling you right now, Royce should be concerned about raising her son and getting him help. Then focusing on what Dwight is doing. When I told Dwight that I was pregnant, he did not return any of my phone calls, none of my messages for two days. When he mm -hmm. did respond after I spoke to his best friend, he said I was asleep. Meanwhile, he was playing a game in Milwaukee. He thought I was lying because I still had my belly ring in. 
this man offered me a massive amount of money to say that Braylon was not his, that they would pay for my house, they would pay off any debt that I had, that they would give me a certain amount of money a month if I said. Now again, why are you talking about Dwight? What what is it because the video went viral? Why uh, again? You quote unquote mothers. This woman is in a whole nother relationship. I don't know if she's still with that guy, but you're with somebody else. You help us love talking about your baby's fathers and their shortcomings in your eyes instead of focusing on being a parent. You want to focus on the past. No one cares. No one cares. Maybe except you, but again, this woman should be focusing on the fact that she was arrested for what her son did. And she needs to focus on the fact that her son has declined as far as being able to be a competent human being under her watch. And she needs to ask herself that question instead of hopping on Instagram live or whatever live stream she's on and trying to demean somebody who has said nothing to or about her. That it wasn't his. I said, absolutely not. I was then harassed by his family because on my baby shower invitations, it had his last name. Magic contacted me and wanted me to come and take the paternity test in their offices. Absolutely not. My attorney said, hell no. That is because she wanted to make sure that she can control the situation is all about controlling the situation instead of just trying to get the paternity done and over with she wanted to control see these women love to control everything uh but then you look at their life is in such shambles a lot of you help us who have all these opinions your lives are in shambles but you get on here every day trying to tell somebody how to be a, a husband or trying to or how to be a wife or giving people parental uh, techniques when your your parental uh skills are lacking we went to his attorney's office and everything was recorded i had braylon in the um freaking carrier he never saw him once once again she's worrying about a man that she is no longer with let's get in this article from sports Kita. dwight howard made headlines recently when he claimed that his prime was better than Jokovic, however, one of his baby mamas made an even bigger claim that seemingly exposed the three-time defensive player of the year. After staying silent over a child neglect charge for more than a year, once again, I told y'all about that. She was actually arrested for that. Royce Reed has had enough after seeing Howard post a video of himself motivating his kids. Reed and Howard have a 15-year-old son, Braylon, who was involved in an alleged inappropriate conduct with a minor in 2021. That's the son they shared. That's the one that ran his mouth about Dwight. This is a little manipulative male that's being raised by her. And this is her post here. Not someone pretending to be a parent for one day out of 365 for the cameras like do, how would you know royce you do you know the child's mother do you speak to the child's mother do you know their situation don't make thursdays turn into truth thursday once again worry about your son worry about your son and yourself instead of worrying about other people get your house in order all right and this is the video here come on I and then in the in the post there it says in the process of being great is going to be laughs frowns smiles tears blood and sweat but that's what is needed for us to succeed as individuals and also collectively as a family it's more but I Let's go start. Let's go. Come on. Come on. All right. So I guess that video drove her to say what she's saying. 
Royce Reed was not finished and went on a rant on the Shade Room's comment section to expose Dwight Howard, Reed called the former NBA player an evil person and claimed that he told a 12-year-old that he was gay for not watching adult films. <laughs> That's what she said. She said he called a 12-year-old gay for not watching adult films. So this man is evil, Reed wrote... Y'all far for every time, ask him why he's telling a 12 year old he's gay because he hasn't touched anything or watch or watching adult films with them. Better yet, why it took a uh, four, five years to fire the nanny that touched two of his kids. So he's saying, so she's saying that a nanny that he had employed uh had touch listen th th this is a lot going on here um once again and i'm not going to sway from this royce you need to go and, and fix your own situation instead of trying to bring this stuff up now trying to deflect from the fact that your son was accused of something horrific royce your son was accused of something horrific but here you are on this internet trying to project the fact of what your son was accused of okay your son was accused of that but here you are trying to project all of this onto dwight dwight had nothing to do with what braylon did or is accused of doing you were arrested for that dwight howard wasn't arrested for that you were arrested for that and you're tr and now because you've been in hiding now you want to publicly bash him and project all that onto him when you were the one that was arrested for it, Royce. You're not fooling anybody. You were arrested for that. Dwight wasn't arrested for that. You were, all right? That happened on your watch, but you're trying to project onto Dwight the th things that your son is accused of or their son collectively, but the son is living with her. Reed also blasted Howe for allegedly taking custody of one of his kids and then letting his parents become the guardians so that he can play basketball in Taiwan. She then claimed that the one time NBA champion wanted her to sign an NDA after asking her to be his matriarch for his polyamorous relationships. The former, once again, why are you adding that in? Who cares? The former Orlando Magic cheerleader added that Howard pays people to start smear campaigns on his baby mamas and finally, she also claimed that the incident with Braylon and a minor happened under Howard's supervision. It should be noted that Reed's child neglect charge stem was from Braylon's inappropriate con. So why did you get arrested? If it happened under his supervision, why were you arrested? Why were you arrested? And why is your stepchild with under Dwight Howard's super? None of that makes any sense, Royce. None of that makes any sense. But she wants. But she wants this to not be blamed for that. And she wants to go public to once again project onto that. He wasn't arrested. You were. So you mean to tell me that the guy that you're dating son was in his supervision? White Howard has five children, three sons and two daughters with five different women. Howard's eldest son, Braylon, was born November 18th of 2007 to former Orlando Magic Magic's cheerleader Royce Reed. It just goes into some some facts about them. Listen, Royce, you nice try though. You know, nice try, Royce. Um, but we we don't care. Um, you got arrested for what your son did, but you want to project it onto him. See, he didn't get arrested. He wasn't accused of anything. She's trying to project all of this because she knows how bad it was for her. She probably lost friends and opportunities. And she wants to blame, she wants to blame him for it. It's his fault that she got caught up be, you know, in that situation and she wants to project. But we, but no one, after a year, now you're saying this? I haven't heard any reports that that happened under his supervision, Royce. Why are you lying, Ro Royce? Why are you lying? You're a liar and you have issues too. I would not be surprised if you had mental issues too, because you seem like it. You seem like a mentally unstable female. 
and you shouldn't have custody of any children. And you're trying to get on this internet and project. Nice try, though. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next.